May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Let's listen to God's word and be doers of the word. August 7th, 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourself that do not wear out, an inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach, no moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gird your lawns and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master found vigilant on his survival. Amen, I say to you. He will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch, and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant, whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, the master will put the servant in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to bid the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour, and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant, who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will, shall be beaten severely. And the servant, who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person, and trust with much, and still more will be demand of the person, and trust with more. Reflection of the Gospel Message The parable of servants who do a good job as their master asks, when the master comes back, they will be given extraordinary rewards. The purpose of this parable that Jesus gives us is to remind us to be faithful and to obey God in everything, even giving up our lives. We are called to be obedient, loyal, and faithful to the will of the Lord in this life. The Holy Spirit given by the Lord frees us from fear and pride so we can listen to the Lord and follow the direction of God faithfully. Our God is faithful, even if we are not. In this world, one may not receive such unexpected reward from their boss, but God is so good, and He gives us the good gift, His Holy Spirit, to us when we ask for it. So, be an attentive, watchful, and listening ear, for signs of the return of Jesus Christ. Be alert and concentrate to be ready with the preparation for the return of Christ and receive Him. We cannot place our hearts on money and possessions. This is a distraction to interfere with the preparation for the return of Christ.